All right, I'm going to share this clip with you. This is a guy with a YouTube channel called Sling and Stone. And watch, he's going to teach Darbyism, which, by the way, Darby was a fatalist. He did not believe you could choose to be saved, and he was tied to Freemasonry. Watch what this guy teaches. John Nelson Darby was the first person to popularize the theory of the rapture. 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 through 18, and 1 Corinthians 15, 50 through 54 are the two main scriptures that are used to teach this doctrine. Those verses tell us that those of us who've made Jesus our Lord will be caught up with him in the clouds before the tribulation. We're told this will happen in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. People also point out that in the book of Revelation, the church isn't mentioned past chapter 4, which in their eyes means that the church has been taken away. Matthew 24 is the words of Jesus himself talking about the Great Tribulation, and he mentions that at one point within that time frame, Christians will be taken up to be with him from the earth. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they will gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Notice that he starts with verse number 30, but he completely ignores verse number 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in the heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. This we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. This is why I don't like the term rapture, because the Bible calls it the coming of the Lord. It's called the coming of the Lord. This is the passage they get the word rapture from. The next verse says that the dead in Christ shall rise first. It's called the resurrection. It's called the coming of the Lord. And then here, this word caught up is where people make the word rapture, and they try to tell you that's a different event, that verse 17 was seven years before verse 15, which frankly is dishonest and very confusing. Notice it says here, it's the coming of the Lord. That's what it's titled. It's called the resurrection. And that's when we're caught up. Obviously, you know, that work, it, word in uh, Greek was uh, harpazo, but they use a Latin word, rapturo. It's the rapture. That's where it comes from. The rapture is not a separate event from the resurrection. The resurrection is the rapture. So anybody that used the word rapture, at least correct them on that. Now, what about the invention of the pre-tribulation rapture? Yes, that was a Jesuit conspiracy. It was a Zionistic conspiracy. Uh, you had guys that were, which by the way, your dispensational fathers, Darby, Larkin, Schofield, these men were mingling with Freemasonry, and they were also Calvinist. They were fatalist. They were determinist, which means they did not believe they had any free will whatsoever in life, that God picked them to be saved. And God also picked everybody else to go to hell without an option of trusting in Christ for salvation. That we see that tribulation happens for about three and a half years, and then there's the resurrection, and then the wrath of God comes. 